Hello children, how has this week been for you? Some of you might have been on holiday while others might have been at school. So no matter what you were doing, I hope you had an interesting week. If you could not have an interesting week, that is okay, don't worry. Because there are times we have not so good days in our lives including me when I have such days in my life. But through it all, I hope you rested on God and you told Him all that you were going through. Now I want you to look at this image which is actually a painting. So children, 600 years ago, people, not so many people could have gone to school. So not so many kids actually learned how to read and write. And if you don't know how to read and write, then you wouldn't be able to read even the Bible. So to help people understand God, 600 years ago, church ministers used to paint pictures so that people who couldn't read and write still were able to learn about God. So now what can we learn about this picture? Now look to see how many people are there in this picture. All three people have the exact same halo around their heads. That's the glow of God. Now these three people are wearing four colors. So there is green, brown, blue and gold. Now 600 years ago, blue was the color people used when they painted God. So blue was God's color. So the painter of this picture was saying that these three people are God. You must be finding it quite strange. Like, you know, to have in a picture and all the people in that picture or that painting to be God, it sounds strange, right? But hold on, there is more to this painting. Now I want you to look and see, what are these three people holding? They are all holding a long stick, exactly the same length. Look at their hands. What hand are they holding the stick? All are using their right hand to hold the stick. Now look at their other hands. All the left hands have two fingers pointing down. We can see that the painter is saying that these three people are the same. Same halos, same blue the color of God, same way of holding a staff in their right hand and the same way of pointing their fingers. So these three people who are God are all exactly the same and but they are not the same. They are also different. Now the painter continues to explain this painting like this so that we can understand a little bit more about this painting. So the one, so one of those people in the painting or one of those people who are there in our painting is wearing gold. Now that person is God the Father. Gold because of the beauty and God who created a beautiful earth. One person has brown. Now brown is the color of dirt. And that brown person is Jesus who came to earth, who put his feet on ground, felt the dirt between his feet. And finally, the other person in the picture, the last person is wearing green. Green is known to be the color of spring, the color of things that grow. That green person is the Holy Spirit. 
of God who wants you and this church to be green and to grow. So the painter is using this picture to tell us about God. That God is three persons. So the Bible actually teaches us that God is three unique persons yet he is one God. He is God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. We call this the Trinity children or the triune nature of God. Because Trinity or triune means having three parts. This is hard to understand, I know that. Because <laughs> even for us adults, uh, it's a little challenging to understand. Because when I was your age, I myself grappled quite a lot with this question about the Trinity. Because it was for me, it looked... I couldn't f try to understand how three different people can be one person also. And it took me quite a lot of time to really understand what the triune nature of God or Trinity really means. But I have an easy way for you to understand this. And I am going to use water. Because water is a great way to explain how something can be three different things yet remain one thing. So water as you know can be liquid, it can be solid and it can be also a gas. Now these three forms of water can teach us of God's unique quality of being a triune God. So ice, let's start with ice. Okay. So ice, the solid form of water, reminds us of God the Father. Ice is hard, it is solid. In the same way, God the Father is our solid foundation. Liquid form of water reminds us of God the Son. We use water to clean ourselves. In the same way, God the Son died on the cross to cleanse us from our sins. Jesus is also called the living water. So now we have seen two aspects of water. Now we are going into the vapor aspect of water. Right? So vapor, the gas form of water reminds us of God the Holy Spirit. Gas cannot be seen, right? But you can see its effects. In the same way, the Holy Spirit cannot be seen. But the effects of His presence can be seen and felt in our lives. Because the Holy Spirit makes His will known to us. And He changes us to become more like Jesus. So this helps us understand that the Trinity is truly one God yet three different persons. There is unity in the sense that the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit is united in love, bonding together in mutual respect towards each other, united as one God. Yet there is diversity as the three persons though united are different in the way they work in our midst. We worship one God who has revealed himself in the history of mankind in three different ways. This is the working of unity in diversity which leads us to our scripture passage today where Jesus speaks of the Holy Spirit to his disciples. Even though they were very much puzzled like probably even we are about the triune nature of God. Uh, so Jesus spoke to them at that time and he was telling them right about it. So it is found in John chapter 16 
verses 12 to 15. So let's watch our scripture video today to see what Jesus speaks to his disciples about. I have much more to say to you, more than you can now bear. But when he, the Spirit of Truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. He will glorify me because it is from me that he will receive what he will make known to you. All that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I said the Spirit will receive from me what he will make known to you. So as the scripture passage says, the Holy Trinity is God the Father, Jesus the Son and the Holy Spirit. God is the creator of all things, even man. Jesus Christ is the same God who came down to earth in the flesh. The Holy Spirit is the third person of God who is our counsellor and guide who helps us know the truth and to remember Jesus as our saviour. In this way, the Trinity provides us a way to live as a community. We are also so different in nature. We are not the same. This is the diversity we witness while being a community. Yet, we must respect the difference as we see children in others. We can be Sinhala, Tamil, Muslim, Burger, Malay. Yes, we can be different. Yet, remember that we are one. We belong to one country. We are all Sri Lankans. This is unity in diversity. The Trinity teaches us to live in this way, to respect, love and value the differences in others and remain united as a community. With that thought in mind for today, let's pray and ask God and help us and ask Him to help us to remember is this nature of being three different people, but even though different, being united together. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much, Father, for this lesson that you have taught us today. Thank you for helping us to learn about your triune nature, that even though you are three different people, that you work together in love and that you are one person after all. Help us, your children, even though we are different, even though we come from different homes, even though we, have, we are dif different in our nature, help us also to remember that we need to be together even though we are different and work together as one Lord. Help us to share that same love that you have. I commit all of this and I commit the rest of the week into your loving hands. Please be with all of us. Guide us and guard us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.